Hello and welcome back to Anton Math. Now in this video we're going to be looking at some more examples of solving trigonometric equations. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's say we have the equation cosine theta equals 0.28. Now there's no degree sign here, so we know by 0.28 this means radians. So this is a calculator problem. Again, um, I highly advise that you pause the video here try and solve this problem yourself and when I say solve I mean find all solutions or find the general solution set and then after you find your solution go ahead and hit play uh, we'll go through it step by step together and we can make sure that you're on the right track um, so the first thing is make sure that calculator is in radian mode now if I'm looking at cosine the theta equals 0 0.28 well I can find my first particular solution by using inverse cosine. Theta 1 is going to be inverse cosine of 0 0.28 which when you plug it into that calculator in radian mode you're going to get that this is about equal to 1.287 1.287. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our unit circle. For these next couple of videos I'm going to be using the unit circle so we can find our other solutions and then after that we'll do a bunch more videos where we just look at things algebraically without graphing this out on the unit circle. I have this angle of 1.287. Now that's less than 1.5, so we know it's going to be a little bit less than pi over 2. So that solution is going to be somewhere around here. This is our angle, theta 1. Now we need to find our other particular solution. We know there's going to be at least one more because cosine repeats itself twice in one period from 0 to 2 pi. It, uh, every solution for cosine is found by two different angles within 0 and 2 pi. So let's go ahead and find, figure out where that other solution is going to be. Uh, it's positive 1.287, or sorry, it's a positive 0 0.28. So we know that uh, whatever my theta is, it's somewhere where cosine of theta is positive. And we know we never repeat values of cosine in quadrant 1, so I'm looking down in quadrant 2 somewhere. Uh, in particular, I'm looking in quadrant 2, somewhere that has the same reference number as 1.287. Now since 1.287 is in quadrant 1, my reference number here is actually going to be exactly 1.287. So I'm looking at this angle over here. We're going to go all the way around to here. This is my theta 2. Now notice here from our picture, theta 2 this is the same thing as if I did one full rotation of 2 pi and then subtracted theta 1 from 2 pi. In other words, if I went this way, this would be negative theta 1, wouldn't it? Because they both have the same reference number. So theta 2, if we're looking between 0 and 2 pi, this is going to be 2 pi minus theta 1. So in other words, over here, let's figure out what this is. My theta 2 is 2 pi minus theta 1 which is 1.287 and this is about equal to 4.996 alright so we have our solutions of one period we're ready for our general solution my general solution is the set of solutions theta equals 1.287 plus 2k pi and I also have theta equals 4.996 plus 2k pi and this of course is where k is an arbitrary integer so k is any element of the set of all integers, this double barred z. So of course we saw here in our diagram that negative theta is also a solution, isn't it? If I go negative theta from my initial uh, from my initial side over here, uh, negative theta is realized over here when I plug in negative k 
to this second part of the general solution. If I plug in a negative k, that's 4.996 minus 2 pi. And looking over here, if I do minus 2 pi on both sides, I get negative 1.287. So we've captured that negative theta 1 here. And this is going to be our set of all solutions. Okay, Let's look at another one. Tangent of theta equals negative 10. So again, the first solution we find is going to be found by looking at theta equals tangent inverse of negative 10. Now tangent inverse of negative 10, plugging that into your calculator, again we're going to keep working with radians here, so make sure you're in radian mode. This is negative 1.47. Let's take a look. My unit circle. I have this negative 1.47. That's about right here. negative 1.47. Now we know tangent has a period of pi, so if negative 1.47 is a solution, then we also have that negative 1.47 plus pi is a solution. So let's document that. This angle here is pi minus 1.47. Now I could go two ways about this. I could write that I have two parts of my general solution. Pi is negative 1.47 plus 2k pi and, I'm sorry, theta is negative 1.47 plus 2k pi and theta is pi minus 1.47 plus 2k pi. But really we can simplify this process by noting that because the period of tangent is just pi, I can write this all as one general solution, theta equals negative 1.47 plus k pi, where k is any integer. All right, that's going to capture this negative 1.47. It also captures pi minus 1.47. 1. Uh, 1. If my k is 2, that's going to come back around here. I'll get something coterminal with negative 1.47. And we continue this process. Every time I add pi, I get a new solution. If I start at negative 1.47, every time I subtract pi, I get a new solution. And because k is an arbitrary integer, we've captured all solutions. So this is the general solution to this problem. Okay, so we'll notice with tangent and cotangent, like I mentioned in the last video, uh, we're not going to be adding 2k pi to our particular solution. We're going to be well off enough just adding k pi to our particular solution. Okay. Let's take a look at one more for this video root 2 sine theta plus 1 equals 0. So in this example we see we're not always going to be given some function of theta equals some number. Just like back in algebra when we solve 2x plus 2 equals 3, we're solving for x but we're not given the problem x equals something, are we? We're given 2x plus 2 equals 3. So we need to solve this out a little bit. So we need to do a little bit of algebra here. So if root 2 sine theta plus 1 is 0, that means that root 2 sine theta is equal to negative 1. So sine of theta is equal to negative 1 over the square root of 2, which we know is also equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Now let's see if we can do this one without graphing out the unit circle. I know that I have two solutions for theta in one period of 0 to 2 pi, where sine of that theta is equal to negative root 2 over 2. The first one is in quadrant 3, and it's 5 pi over 4. Oops. The second one is in quadrant 4, and it's 7 pi over 4. Right, these are the two angles between 0 and 2 pi that have, uh, we know it's going to have a reference angle of pi over 4 because I'm looking at root 2 over 2. And we know we're looking for the reference angles where sine is negative. So that happens in quadrants 3 and quadrant 4, and that gives us these two angles. 
They both have the reference angle of pi over 4. They're both between 0 and 2 pi. So of course now these are my particular solutions of one period. To generalize these I add 2k pi to each of them. And we note that we've used k here so we need to decide what k is and k is going to be an element of the integers, so any integer. So this is our general solution for root 2 sine theta plus 1 equals 0. These are all the values of theta for which this equation is true. Alright, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next videos for some more trigonometric equations.